It was a brush with death for Wyandotte police detective who was trying to take a suspect into custody. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. We now know the man seen dragging the detective has a long history with police. And as our Kimberly Craig is in Wyandotte where she found out this story could have had a very different ending. What you're about to see is a detective come within an inch of losing his life while trying to apprehend a man suspected in the stabbing death of a woman. This detective uh, was relentless in trying to apprehend this very dangerous uh, criminal. Uh, in doing so, he subjected himself to, to serious bodily harm and even death. And Wyandotte police say that dangerous felon trying to get away from their detectives is 22 year old Christian Lowe. And if his name sounds familiar, it's because police have called him a suspect in the murder of Linda Breen. The 55 year old Wyandotte woman was stabbed to death in February 2019. And Linda's boyfriend also suspected his nephew. But you got my nephew avoiding, not, not, not providing evidence. Not, not coming true to what he, he's, he's done. It was late Thursday afternoon when two Wyandotte detectives were looking to Nablo, who was wanted for probation violations involving assault and concealed weapons. They spotted him here near this liquor store in Lincoln Park. Lowe gets out of his truck to walk to the store, then stops dead in his tracks when he sees a familiar face. These police officers were in an unmarked car. Uh, however, um, he's had contact with this particular detective before. He knows him very well. Lowe bolts back to his vehicle. There's a struggle and he takes off, dragging the detective who is stuck, but manages to free himself before being crushed when the vehicle strikes the building before smashing through a fence. There's no doubt uh, the actions taken by the detective to, to leap from that vehicle saved his life. Christian Lowe has not been charged with Linda Brain's murder, but right now he has been charged with multiple crimes, including resisting and assault with intent to murder. This is a type of police work that's done every single day. And it looks like Christian Lowe won't be going anywhere anytime soon. His cash bond has been set at $175,000. In Lincoln Park, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Kim, thank you.